Good afternoon folks and uh, or rather good evening and welcome. I'm just going to do a quick uh, show and tell. This is we could probably even call this part one. I'll do a quick look over. This is a, this is a hacker uh, gondolier. Some people call it a gondola. That's one of them things that float around uh, float around Venice. Uh, it's a gondolier. They did two models. Well, I did two models that I can that I can think of. Which was the Grenadier and the Gondolier. Uh, this is the Gondolier uh, GP42 uh, record player, and uh, let me see if I can read some of the information from the tag board there. Uh, just says when just say, just says when playing. Fasten lid for good bass reproduction, and told you to, yeah, told you to wind the transit screws up when you transport it. Uh, anyway, to be honest with you folks, look how clean this thing is. I mean, you could eat your dinner off that. And uh, this is coming from service from uh, my coming for a service from my friend Phil, and this thing is absolutely mint. I mean, it's lovely. I mean, I will point out uh, there is a couple of dints in the grill, very, very slight ones. Uh, there's one here, one here, and there's a slight crease here, very, very slight. Uh, but, you know, this has got to be this has got to be the most pristine example I've ever seen, I mean, you know, this thing belongs in a museum, I mean, there's no rust on it or tarnished, nothing's tarnished or oxidised and, you know, nothing, it's just lovely, wherever this has been, it's been in a nice place. Anyway, let's get them screws wound down because we're going to, we're going to need the deck out at some point, because we're going to, we're going to service the deck probably first. So we'll get them screws wound down ready. We won't take the stylus out just yet. But I'm not taking the cartridge out of this because it's got very, very thin connectors and you know the, the easy the easy snap, so I'm not gonna take the cartridge out. We're gonna leave the cartridge in the arm, it'll be okay. <coughs> just take the stylus out. But not only did he there's a little mark on here as well, it's probably I mean you expect something. Uh, but this has got to be the most pristine example I've ever seen. But not only that, he's also got the matching amplifier. Uh, he brought two of these to me, and this is a really, really nice one. The other one needs uh, a bit of casework. I need to try and get the nicotine off, because instead of it being grey, it's sort of like a... Uh, Sort of like a shitty brownie sort of colour. We might even call it the hacker shitter. Uh, but even so, that's even a nice one as well. But it's nowhere, not as nowhere near as nice as this is. Absolutely, this is absolutely lovely. He, he ain't getting this fucker back. You know, this is uh, no, no. He can't have this one back. I'm afraid. But it's coming. I don't know what it's like. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a baseline. Uh, I don't usually, but. Uh, as I know that it's relatively safe to plug this thing in because it's been in, uh, so I'll plug my phone a minute. We'll do a baseline and we'll see, we'll see where we're up to with this. See where we're up to with this. You see, we've got all the Chinese hats on the knobs and everything. It's oh, no, the light even works. Now, Phil told me that the automatic mechanism doesn't work. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll clip the single play spindle into its place there, while the amplifier warms up. Now, let's get our record. Uh, 
Now let's see how much this doesn't work. Oh. Well that seems to work just fine, didn't it? Round and round and round like a billy shade. Round and round. With that rotary action like a billy shade. Round and round. Twist up and down and tilt like it's floating heads. Unique billy shade. Twist here. Is that on the 78 RPM set? Absolutely lovely. So, and the auto mechanism works. I'm trying to work out what part of the auto mechanism didn't work because I'm sure Phil told me the mechanism, the auto, the auto mechanism doesn't work. Well, it seemed to work on that occasion. Anyway, it'll all be, it'll be serviced. It'll be gone through, and I'm going to do it on video. That we've gone through. Anyway, if I turn the volume up, that's about what you normally expect. Turn it down, and there's no hum at all, you know, no mains hum on this whatsoever. Uh, there's no mains hum on this whatsoever, so, you know, it's. Uh, I will check the value of the capacitor, the filters, but. Judging by that, I'm not going to change them if I don't have to because I don't want to mess with it. You know, I don't want to mess with the sound because this sounds. I mean, yeah, it could do it a bit more. I, th I think for my ears, it could do it a bit more treble. I don't think the treble is as strong as I think it could be. But the bass is lovely. The power amp's working absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I don't want to mess with it too much. So you know, uh, anything I don't have to change, I'm not going to change. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just fill it with brand new capacitors for the sake of filling it with brand new capacitors, just because everybody on YouTube thinks that's what you should do. Well, it ain't. You know, uh, this sounds absolutely lovely. It does it sounds really, really good, and uh, you know, and. You know, I know, I know these do have capacitors in that do need to be changed, like them red 
I can't remember who makes them. Uh, I had some knocking about somewhere. The red things I pulled out. I pulled a ton of them out of that steady old sound thing uh, a few a couple of months ago. I pulled a ton of them out of that. Uh, red uh, TOC, I think they are. Uh, they have to come out. Or TOS, TOS, TOC, TOS, something like that. Red ones with uh, one end's red and the other end's black. And the main body of them's red, them things. They, 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 they usually find some of them in here. They have to come out. Anything that's hunts will come out. Uh, you know, but the smooth, the, the main filter and reservoir, uh, I'm going to check the value. And if they're on the money, they're staying in. It's as simple as that because this has got no mains or money whatsoever. You know, you could, you, you could put that speaker inside your head and you wouldn't hear any mains on. You know, it's got a beautiful amplifier in it. So, I'm not going to go too mad and change capacitors just because people think that's what you should do. Uh, important stuff I will. Stuff that I know fails I will. But, you know, this is too, you know, you, you, you can't mess around too much with this sort of thing. Not when it sounds that good. Because, you, you know, the one thing I don't want to do is start putting, uh, start putting parts in that might affect the sound. Because we don't really want to change the sound. All we want to do is leave it. It could, as I say, it could do it a bit more treble. But that's about it. For my ears, there's not enough treble. But that's only me. It might have been made like that. I've only ever done one of these hackers once before. And, you know, it's a shame really. I can't get the amplifier up on the bench as well. I've got to make a lead up for him as well. So he can connect the two together. Uh, there's a job on a socket that has to be done on the back. I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that yet, but uh, we'll sort something out with that. Might mean replacing the socket if I can get one. If I can find one, I, thought, I think I've got some, but I'm not sure. I wouldn't want to put my money on it. But we'll have a look. Anyway, but this thing, as I say, I can't believe the condition of this. I mean, you know, I'm not going. I'm not going to mess with this, and I'm not going to mess with this and ruin the sound on it. You know, just for the sake of changing capacitors. Anyway, uh, as I say, uh, you know, uh, Phil, when Phil brought it, he brought it with the power cable outside the case because uh, he didn't want to mark the turntable. And I don't blame him really, but, uh, you know, given that I've got to have it in the workshop and stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to lightly place the power cord on the turntable and that ain't going to be moved from here now because uh, when, I, when I come back to this after my tea this is going to stay like this now until I've had my tea and sorted everything else out I need to sort out and then we'll get into part two I just thought I'd do an overview on here because I wanted to really have a listen to this because I wanted to listen to it so that I know how, I know how the other one should sound and I know how the amplifiers should sound. He brought two of these with, with the matching amplifiers. How cool is that? You know, uh, and, you know, we've got, you know, like I say, I don't want to mess with the sound. And I put this one on because this is the nicest out of the two. And this is the one he wants me to do a video on. I'm not doing a video on the other one. Unless I find, we'll find a solution for getting the nicotine off the case. Then I'll do a video and show how it's done. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. But you know, I can't believe the I can't believe the originality of this. I mean, uh, there's not a rust anywhere, there's no oxidization, like I've already said. You know, the only blemishes I can find is a little blemish here. Just on the top where my finger is. There's a dent there, a dent there, one here. And a very small one there. They're very, very thin. You can't see it unless you look at it from the side. They're very, very thin crease here. Very thin. But I would go as far as to say that this is in pristine condition. I mean, this thing should be in a museum. Uh, this is really, 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 really nice. It's a nice, nice. It's the nicest example I've ever seen. I mean, if you had the, if you had the box for this, you could put it in the box and flog it as new old and, and flog it as new old stock. That's how good this thing looks. I mean, it's a shame to even, you know, 
it's a shame to even molest this thing. You know, it's a shame to even start thinking about taking it apart. But I know you all want to see it, and uh, Phil wants to see it done. And uh, to be honest, I love working on this sort of stuff. It's really, really good quality. As you notice, I've, I've put some towels down that Phil brought with him because uh, I think a couple of months ago I mentioned it was a bit short of cloths. So uh, he brought me a bag of mixed cloths and towels. They're very good of him. They smell nice too. Uh, <clears throat> which makes a change having a nice smell in my workshop. It usually smells of fucking flatulence and smoke and dog, whatever in here. But then again, uh, like I say, getting back to getting back to this lovely old lady, we'll get on to this tonight. Um, and uh, uh, all being well he's coming back at weekend to collect them so I want to get them done but I'm not going to rush them I want to get them done and I want them to be right because you, you all know me folks I like things spot on anyway uh, but that said I'm going to leave this video here for now and uh, I'm going to feed the dog walk him have my tea and get back to this and you all take it easy folks and I'll catch you later bye for now